Hey, it's Dean here. And Daryl here behind the camera. And we just thought it would make a quick little video on what the starter procedure on the Holly Sniper looks like. It is a little bit different, so we'll show you what, uh, what the process I do anyways, and what we've seen best practice is. All right, so I have the Holly screen uh, outside the car here so we can show you what happens. So what's gonna happen is Dean's gonna turn the key on and you're gonna hear two things. The fuel pump will kick on and the sniper unit is gonna do a couple of psh and shoot a little bit of fuel in there uh, for startup. Alrighty, turn her on. Okay, and then our screen, boom, is just that easy. So, the one thing, the one thing that I've learned is that it does seem to like it better when you give the computer a chance to load up to the screen. If you do hop in just like a new car, put the key in and crank it, it will start. It might struggle a little bit because the computer does take a little bit of time to boot. But uh, my, my procedure has been key on, turn it to let it do its thing. And when the computer comes to the, the gauges, that's when I crank it. So I've always seen good results when I do that. So hopefully that's helpful. A little bit inside if you're considering the sniper kit. And uh, that just, it just fires up just that easy. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So until next time, if it ain't broke, go drive it. And like, and subscribe. You bet. Smash that notification bell too. Yeah. <laughs> and all the other things those YouTubers are saying. Yeah, all the, all the cool kids <laughs> are saying nowadays. Alrighty. See ya.